there. So I'm going to continue with the Pink Floyd uh, album reviews um, with their seventh studio album. Um, now from this album here, um, and they had quite a few, um, can I put it, um, instrumental tracks on this, um, on this album I found, um, but a great, great, great album. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it's probably not one of their, I wouldn't say, you know, popular albums, um, until probably around, I would say, the next two after that, um, I would probably have to say, my this is my opinion. Um, the next two albums that came um, out after that, I would have to say probably would have to be like their their um, I would say their popular albums. The next two after this that became very 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 popular. Um, anyways, like I said, this. It's their seventh studio album. It's called um, Obscured by Clouds. Um, this album here, it's a progressive rock album, which was released on June 2nd of 1972. Um, so the songs on the album includes, so it starts off with the um, instrumental song, Obscured by clouds um which it starts off you know instrumental um and after that is a two minute and 18 second instrumental song when you're in burning bridges the goal it's in the what's uh the deal the four minute and twenty second instrumental song, Mudman. Um, after that is um, Childhood's End, Free Four, Stay in the la and last song on the album is the instrumental song, Absolutely Certain. Um, so uh, I found this album um, had a lot of instrumental instrumental songs, um, but I think that what um, I would say the song probably the goal it's in the that one there is quite um, I found that's quite of a great rock and tune. Um, but yeah, this album here, I would say, you know, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's one of their, you know, like I said, not one of their popular albums, um, because I, I found there was, you know, uh, about three, about four instrumental songs out of like nine songs that are on this album, um, I found there was... I found it was uh, too many instrumental songs I found on this album. Um, that's the only thing I didn't like about it. It's a great, great, you know, uh, me, myself, I think it's a it's a great album. It's not one of the best albums, but um, the thing I didn't really care for the album, one, the album, the one thing I didn't really care for was um, had, you know, too many instrumental instrumental songs, um, which it would have been great if they, you know, only one or two, but, you know, too many, uh, I found, um, you know, about four, and there's, you know, what's, what was that, did I say, nine or ten, um, but I found it was, you know, too, too many, um, but a great, great album, really, you know, great album to listen to, I, I don't think it's, it's not one of their best, but, you know, um, but, um, yeah, I found, that's the only thing I found about it, that it was too many instrumental tracks on it, that's what I, I found, um, about this album, but, um, not a bad album to listen to, um, at all, um,
but that's the only thing i really thought you know it was having too many instrumental tracks on the only thing it was lacking was that was too many instrumental tracks i found um but besides that um not a bad you know not a not a bad album not one of the best but not a bad album um at all. Um, so I'll go through the songs again. It's instrumental song, Obscured by Clouds, a two minute and 18 second instrumental song, When You're In, Burning Bridges, The Goal It's In The, What's uh, The Deal, the 4 minute and 20, get that 4 minute and 20 instrumental song, Mudman. Um, Childhood's End, Free For, Stay and Last is the instrumental song, like I said, absolutely certain. Um, but, yeah, that's the only thing I found was about this album. Was, um, two... Too many um, instrumental tracks I found on this. Like if it had one or two, you know what I mean? But I found it pretty much, you know, it had too many I found with this album. Um, you know, but um, just like on the album, the other album I'm going to be talking about, I think that has almost about the same instrumental tracks on it but but yeah the only thing i didn't you know was that it had too many instrumental tracks on it um that's the only thing but uh besides that it's you know it's 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 a not you know not a bad album um at all um so comment down below uh let me know what you think of the album um so Make sure to check out Pink Floyd, Adam, her mother album review, Pink Floyd, metal album review. Um, so make sure to check those three out. I'm going to put it down in the uh, description down below. And um, all you people that subscribe, thank you very much. And um, hope you really enjoyed it. Um, hit that thumbs up. Uh, check out um, Essential Classic Rock Vinyl Records, where I show my collection of uh, records. So if you like that, um, yeah, man, I did uh, album views of like Bob Seger, Led Zeppelin, Kiss, Kansas. The list goes on and on. So um, hope you really enjoyed it. And next, I'm going to be talking about their eighth. Uh, studio album, so stay tuned for that. I'll be right back. Bye.